Wings of the Crow. Despite the fact that this item holds a real near and dear place in my heart, you know, not only being on brand, but also being the subject of one of the most popular videos on the entire channel, it's never been very good. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. It's an item that I rarely ever use myself, and just overall, I think the, the way I described it in the original Brutal Update uh, run that I did with Wings of the Crow is, is still correct. It's just a janky version of Ore of Laceration. However, with the latest updates, it has been changed up to being a lot more usable. Now having the ability to, to choose how high you're flying in the air, a shock damage, potentially making it a, a damage over time type of weapon, and just in general giving you this cool dash, sort of enabling some, some real speedrun tactics, if, if I can get that working. It seems like something that, that might have been changed around to, to being a truly exceptional weapon rather than the kind of bad one that it was before. Of course, that's kind of hard to say because I haven't really used this item at all since it's been introduced. For the stream that I'm doing right now, I did do a little bit of, uh, well, a couple runs prior to this trying to get some sort of usage out of it, which all failed because, of course, I decided to go in through the, the sewers. Don't go through the sewers. They're terrible. But uh, even then, trying to use this late game and everything is still quite the mystery to me. So this is going to be quite the fun episode as I try to figure out, I don't know, some way to get this thing really working? If nothing else, I think just using it like the, the, the same way that I was using the, the war javelin as more of a mobility type of thing, or in the same way that I would use the, the wave of denial seems to be the best idea. But I suppose we'll see over time. There's a lot of possibilities ahead, but nothing really concrete as of just yet. Aside from that cool slam. I mean, hell, just the, the fact that you are able to, you know, use it, cancel it, and even, like, walk along the ground and climb up chains makes a big difference in, in exactly what you're getting out of this. And I do think that maybe trying to get some form of damage over time build to work might be the best way to approach this. I don't know, it's hard to say. Uh, something like getting a wolf trap would be great. Hokuto's bow, as always, is pretty good, but... It might not be enough damage to be a, a truly workable type of run. At least as I can tell right now. Certainly this start of getting Aura of Laceration so that I can actually hit enemies on the ground is going to make a big difference. But you never really know how long that's going to last before I get something better. Well, aside from that, I think the, the best idea here is get as much money as possible. Try to keep on the cusp of the best version of this item that I can. And see how that goes. Yeah, in the meantime, we got Doc Thunder Lightning Bird, as viewer Chan just said in chat. Can't say that is entirely inaccurate. Switching up my elements for this run to being something a little bit more... Uh... <laughs> power of Zeus rather than... Fire and Flames? Hell? Hades? Whatever you would want to call it. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, really, it's just a... Hey, Saturday, baby, and that means we're, go we're doing another stream, and a stream with a little bit more interesting item compared to the one that I did last time. I just, I just don't know. I like the idea behind this, but it does seem like it sort of shuts down a lot of the more major runs that I'm doing. I, I know that a lot of people have told me, it's like, hey, you really got to be using this thing. It's so cool, and it's so much better than now that they changed it up, but... Actually creating a run that's going to work with this seems like it's going to be gonna be kind of tough you know obviously staying above enemies means that like using the fans not really gonna work super well I mean sure I can still deflect items and everything that's great but unless I get something like I don't know magic missiles or like I said just go for the straight uh, damage over time type of build I I just I don't know how I want to approach this well, in the meantime, I do think that uh, making sure that I can use it at all points in time, uh, in other words, using Hunter's Instinct is probably going to be the best idea. Crow's Foot for slowing enemies down, making sure they're staying in the lightning longer, and then I'm not getting hit. Maybe just Instinct to the Master of the Arms. Not very good at the very beginning here, but does scale up pretty well late game. There's a lot of good possibilities, but I think let's just go for the the, the bird-based run. Try to get a great owl of war and see if we can't go uh, uh, full on, full on eagle mode for Fourth of July. After all, I am wearing my 
my oh don't forget to mention the golems yes yes as always i always forget about that every single time this thing is dropped from from golems which is always kind of a weird thing to think that this that they have a bird based weapon i think it'd be like slammers but nope getting to the oh man you can really just get to here <laughs> easy as pie can't you uh yeah make sure you get into the slumbering sanctuary if you want to be using this thing and i think that there's only th 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 there's the most reason to use this in in literal years with this latest update so try it out yourself it's not actually it's not, well, actually one of those things it's not an uncommon drop it's only like a 10 percent drop from from the the uh golems so it's something that you'll probably find if you're fighting those guys enough that said, I would still probably recommend just going in there, zero cell mode, taking a hunter's grenade. The golems are no fun to fight, even if they do have a high chance of dropping this. Well, anyway, yeah, it's July 4th, I'm wearing the baguette outfit, which, yes, I know it's supposed to look more like the French flag, but... Hey, you know... France, America, we got such a history together, I can... I can... I can, I can represent both of them at the same time, I'd like to say. And of course, you know, just doing bird style, which sounds a lot dirtier than I actually meant it, means that uh, you can consider this like, you know, the eagle run. Yeah, <laughs> that said, you know, I do think that Wings of the Crow is still going to have the same um, issue that maybe trying to get a run working with like some of the uh, survival weapons is going to have, where sometimes just lining yourself up to hit enemies can be a little bit more frustrating than most other types of builds. I think specifically about the, the war spear every time with that where, oh sure, 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 it's got the length, but it certainly doesn't have the vertical reach now, does it? Man. Okay, let's go. That isn't very freedom of you? What do you mean? To, 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 to appreciate... Wait, wait, why did I choose survival? That's incorrect. Not very freedom of me? To talk about d d France and then the... I, I got nothing. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, pyrotechnics actually a pretty good thing. Because this will arc down and hit enemies pretty well compared to the, the fans that I'm using right now. Because I... That's... As much as I don't really want to use magic missiles again, I do think it's a little bit uh, too powerful for, for a lot of the runs I'm using. That really would be the best synergy that you could possibly have with this. As you can see right now, I'm still kind of struggling, even with the arc down that this will do. I'm kind of struggling to hit enemies here, and that's sort of an important... Uh, hitting enemies is an important part of the game. Yes, I know. What a, what a revelation. But it's very much true right now, isn't it? War Spear, Frost Blast, Crusher, and Heart of Ice. You basically zero cooldown on the Concierge. Yeah, you know, Heart of Ice is one of those um, mutations that I do not use enough. But it definitely does look like, especially with the way that they have changed it up so that... Oh, come on now. <laughs> especially with the way that they've changed it up so that you um, can continue to get like slowing effects and everything on bosses. It is something that I should be checking out a lot more. Cooldown reduction, I think, might be something back on the table compared to what it's been for quite a while, basically since they got rid of efficiency back in the day. Uh, who knows? We got an episode going. Oh, what? You you're saying that like it took over an hour to get this episode started. I, I certainly wouldn't know anything about that. Nope, not at all. Ice shards. Ice shards would also, you know, ice shards does have that, uh, does have that arc down, and combine that with the fact that all I need to do, I'll take a little bit of poison synergy, sure. Uh, combine that with the fact, with the fact that all I need to do is just get some oil on the ground, which does seem to be pretty easy to do with a lot of the different uh, affixes that now exist in the game. I think that might be one of the best options that you can possibly do for uh, crow wings. Speaking of which, I never actually checked this, but. No, you do continue to throw down um, caltrips, even if you are uh, dashing through the air rather than rolling. So, this should be effective. Also, I'm, I'm really not trying to use this in the in the speedrun fashion that I thought it was going to at the very start of this. I should, um, should probably focus on that a little bit more for right now. Because speed and getting through the game as fast as possible, I think, is still... 
a, a, a pretty uncommon way to play the game. You certainly have Assault Shield, certainly have stuff like the Swift Sword or the uh, Masochism Mutation, but it's just not... It's just not really something that is planned for a lot of different types of builds, and I want to see more of that sort of stuff come up in casual play, not like, you know, your really hardcore stuff for right now. So trying to make stuff work in a speedrunner fashion is something that is always on my mind, and that's not just because I don't want to play for an hour and a half every time I do want to do a run. How could you possibly accuse me of that? Ice Shards doesn't have ammo? Wait, it doesn't? Oh, I didn't even realize that, because even with the ammo, it was still doing good damage and everything, but without that, maybe the ability to use it more often, even though, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, it, it has lessened critical damage, correct? But it's like, that could, st that could still be worth it. That could still be good. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I suppose... I suppose we'll see. As, of course, as it is, uh, nothing here is really giving me anything that I want to use right now. Aside from maybe the shield, and that's just because shields are good. Again, shields are pretty good, but no. That's a good Hokuto's bow. I think I'm going to have to go try to get that Hokuto's bow. <laughs> If you rush, you can get both doors. Uh, I, 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 I always have to go into the prison depths, though, because that does give you extra stats. And although I might not necessarily need all of those stats, I really want to, you know, try and... All right, you can do it like this. Or at least you should be able to, but you can't. Man, everybody who keeps telling me, oh, use your skills or whatever. Apparently doesn't even have any money up here anyway. I'm disappointed that they took that out, because I need 2,000 more gold, and if I don't have the jewels you usually get from that area, that's going to be kind of an issue. Ah, uh, well. I suppose we'll see. It's really speedrun of you to go up there. I mean, there's speedrun, and then there is uh, try to get an overpowered item to make the rest of the run go well. <laughs> Which one do you want me to choose? That's what I thought. Yeah, give me this. Although they... Nah, I like what I got right now. I don't... <laughs> right into the right into the thing, eh? I already got the 60 kills. It does not matter at all. Okay. Plus, Wing breaks the hand of the King AI. Does it now? That's going to be something to look forward to eventually. But I suppose we will... We'll see in time, provided that I don't die embarrassingly over the course of this run. No promises, as always. Okay, I got the Hokuto's bow. That should be no issue. And then aside from that, it's like, just grab this and get out of here. And we'll see if I can't make a... Make a good damage over time run work with this. Certainly, a Hokuto's bow combined with Release's Toxic Cloud is one of the most potent combinations that you can possibly get of any item in the entire game. So I can only hope that that will remain true here. Uh, of, of all the changes that I know they made in this recent update, I don't think damage over time has been affected just yet. It's always been like the most, uh, the most recommended combination that I always give. And yet somehow it remains, uh, it remains in the game even at this point. I could go get that piece of watermelon. I'm not even going to bother. Let's get out of here. Do you say bollocks or bollocks? Bollocks, I, I suppose? I don't know. In the last video, you only rerolled a shop like three times and didn't buy anything. I forgot that you could reroll it uh, one more time. <laughs> I'll admit that right now. Because the thing is, like, you know, usually with... Hmm. Not a bad combination, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I think this would be the one to get. Yeah. Even with the poison. I don't really need poison now that I have uh, Hokuto's bow. But, um, yeah. I, I, I do kind of go on maybe a little bit of, uh, of autopilot in some of these episodes. So, sometimes I won't actually... Sometimes I won't actually realize that I could re-roll the shop a little bit more because I'm so busy talking about Ninja Gaiden or something. 
<laughs> as you do. Oh, that's interesting. Now, I do like Boomerang. Uh, chat, let me know. I can always get back in here. You think I should maybe try to take Boomerang right now? That's a good item, and with the combination of everything else that I got right now, I think that I could probably easily justify grabbing that thing and still have a great run going on. And... Alright. Get those crow wings out there. Oh boy. Get those crow wings out there. Get some very close calls, but should... Yep, there we go. Ah, <sighs> dying to curses, man. If I can, if I can avoid it, I'd love to, but I gotta get those extra stats. You can't avoid getting those extra stats, especially on high-level difficulty. All right, take Boomerang because you a boomer. Wow, a harsh indictment, but I guess that's what we're gonna do. Why not? As much as I do like Pyrotechnics, I do want to kind of switch it up for something that... One of the many fallen titans in Dead Cells. You know, speaking of like the... <laughs> he did it. Uh, speaking of like the um, the ice shards. <laughs> speaking of... Well, um, Hokuto's bow hasn't been fallen yet. But I still think it's only a matter of time before Motion Twin eventually decides that they've had enough. Had enough of this excellent, excellent item. Taking too much precedence over everything else. We'll see. Boomerang is actually pretty fun, even without double boomerang. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like you can't look at boomerang without thinking double boomerang. It was such a good combination. It was unquestionably one of the best combinations you could possibly get in the game. The rally, the damage, the way you could use it with survival. It had everything. It had everything. And then one day it was stolen away from us, along with any of the other uh, double item combinations. It's an unfortunate thing, but it's just. A reality we have to live with, unless you want to use custom mode to not <laughs> worry about that anymore. It was OP, but who cares? There are plenty of OP, I OP things in the game. And besides, the game is difficult enough even with overpowered items that I think you can justify having a couple that might be, uh, you know, a little bit of a game-breaking type of uh, attitude to it. At least that's the way I look at it. But of course, I've also gone on record many a time saying, hey, I uh, would rather have things be overpowered than underpowered, so keep them available to me, as you know. Look at this boomer talking about how you used to double equip. Hey, I mean, I've talked a about a lot of different ah, subjects, uh, reminiscing about the past before. Why is that going to stop me now? Ah, anything else interesting to go for here? I guess I'll take a reroll, see if there is, I don't know, maybe some other items that might show up no not re again can re-roll it one more time never forget whoa yeah that'd be interesting but again that was also my undoing in a previous run so maybe want to try to avoid that particular combination at least for the time being i suppose we'll see good just gotta make sure that i get rid of both the crystals here I can't quite... There. <sighs> so, uh, you know, this was never really a Fallen Titan, but it's not been... I, mean, I think it is actually pretty good. The last time that I was using the, the Throwing Knives, I, I was pretty... pretty happy with how it turned out. It was just also, you know, the limited ammo makes for kind of a big difference when it comes to trying to utilize it properly. Hey, hey, hey. It still hit me up here. No, oh, that is frustrating. You need Magic Missile or Electric Whip. It's true, those would be the two best combinations because those are the ones... A boomerang, I think, is not bad. Because after all, with Boomerang, you know, your your weapon does stay out for a long time while I can throw on the wings and then try to get the most out of that. But even then, yeah, it's true. Just having something that really has an intense tracking on enemies it would be the best way to end up doing this. Hokuto's bow, though, is an easy way to get marks on enemies, and that does mean a lot of extra damage, so it's not the worst, but it's also a little bit difficult to use. you got to have a little bit of forth <laughs> malice of forethought if you want to try to get the most out of that combination, though. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. The movement around is also a little bit difficult to get used to. Uh, so it does seem like, at least looking at it right now, 
that the best way to end up using Wings of the Crow is with a very particular type of build. But if you can get that very particular type of build, it is very, very effective. Oregon's flying. If, if an enemy's flying, I guess it would work out pretty well. Oof, I don't think I really want to take that, uh, that piece of food down there. A little bit hesitant to... Ah, screw it. Let's just do it anyway. Well, not that, but... Bad idea in all likelihood, but I'm going to do it anyway. Good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Concierge or tick? I mean... Well, can't I also go in here? Yeah. I don't know. I think, like, Wings of the Crow might be most effective against the concierge. Anybody got any opinion on this? Because... Crits with tick. Yeah, you do get crits with a tick. Uh, I'm seeing tick. I'm seeing concierge. Seeing a lot of different, uh, different ideas of what to do here. And I don't know. Hmm. I'll go for the tick. Let's just, let's try this out. I mean, the fact that you do get the automatic water synergy seems to... <laughs> seems to be the best idea. Why is there a C in the top left corner? I don't... No, there shouldn't be. Oh, can somebody answer right now? Uh, you know, if I do uh, do I have an enemy in the water and I am getting crits with uh, with instinct, does that mean that it's going to activate this mutation? Cause I don't know. <laughs> that kind of makes no, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Suppose I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right, all right, all right. Mini boss with a curse? Oh, oh no, I didn't even think of that. Crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right now, isn't it? No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh. <laughs> I did not even think about that. Yeah, just don't get hit, forehead. <laughs> By the way, you didn't put on the forehead there. <laughs> Look, the thing is, I, you know, with the whole, like, uh, flying... Oh. Well, Thunder. And I'm no longer cursed. But Thunder Run is an interesting choice. And I do think that it is going to be a little bit more effective now that I can hit enemies... Uh, from great distances, even with the shield itself. Although that's going to stop being as relevant when it comes to you going up against the boss. I think just having this huge amount of mobility, uh, just a lot of damage over time in general, is going to work out well for me. Especially because hitting enemies, you know, the, the ability for the shock damage over time to hit enemies around them is going to be great for the hugely packed together enemies that you find in this area. I'm looking at you, blow gunners. I hate you for ruining that last run, and I'm never going to forgive you. Now then. Revenge is a dish best served with the potion charge because I'm going to die otherwise. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. I'll eat that loss on the chin and we'll work out a little bit more after this. Oh, I hate these things. Blowgunners still remain the hardest, um, the hardest uh, challenge to overcome in this area. Well, I suppose it depends on how hard the bosses, the mini bosses, are with your current build, though. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> no. Really not doing great here, how am I? Oh man. Well, I can only hope that in the next uh, couple areas I get some sort of food stuff because there's no way I'm going to be able to get out of this without, uh, without, unless I use another another potion charge. And I am unwilling to make that sacrifice as of right now. Ah, uh, well, that's rough. Well, it is a tactics run. I mean, you just expect tactics runs to be real harsh at this point now, don't you? Though it is exceptionally harsh in this area in particular. 
Now, usually where I see the the cursed chest is around this point. So that's exactly where I'm going to be looking for. Wow, that dude just right off into the stratosphere, didn't he? <laughs> I don't like that, but I mean, what am I going to say? No, you can't do that. Oh, man. All right, bye, Polanco. <laughs> Thanks for coming in to see me in all likelihood die again. <laughs> Especially at the rate this is going right now. Though as long as I not don't get hit by a particularly large amount of blow gunners, I should be okay. Alright, this looks like probably the... Alright, alright, alright. Trying to face tank on tactics? No, that's just the usual way I play the game. Ah, uh, 4,000. Would I be able to get enough? I really need the heal right now, and that's un just the unfortunate truth. So, let's see if I can't survive this one. Can do that. Can do that. And then we're gonna just hopefully get like another 4,000 here in this next area, because that's the only way I'm gonna be surviving this. That said, I do still really like this build, it's just... It's just difficult in the face of a very difficult area, as you know. Arboretum, the morass. Two places that don't really... Should have killed everyone. I should have killed everyone. God, how did I not think of that? How did I not think of that? Okay. Throwing on Wings of the Crow there was a good idea to kind of scout this out a little bit. And that's about all the everything I'm going to be finding here. I mean, certainly it is useful in the way that no melee hitting enemy is going to be getting you when you have Wings Crow on. You heard what I said. <laughs> Almost got me there. What, what level is this? Uh, it is Wings Crow Final Fantasy VII. So, yeah. This should work out pretty well for me there. Okay, let's go explore the rest of that area before I get going along and hopefully not get hit by that blow gunner in the meantime. I gotta be a lot more careful around here because as of just yet, it hasn't been going great. Sure, I don't need you. I don't need to tell you that though. Okay, okay. And I'm just gonna get myself out of here. Let the lightning take care of everything around there. As much as I would like to go for some parries right now, I also know that's just going to end in tragedy. So <laughs> let's not worry too much about that. <sighs> oh, thanks, Sherson. Uh, this run is for you, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it not hor uh, not a horribly embarrassing death, but I'm doing a very bad job at it right now. Yeah, of course, there's so many enemies around here. I hate this. <laughs> Of course, this is five cell mode. What do I even expect right now? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on. I really, d d d in case of emergencies, it's there. Then let's just use Wings Crow, because I, I'm not going to be using this for its speed run tactics right now, but I am going to be using it for its um, not get hit by melee enemies for the time being. There and there and. Can maybe try to go for a parry, but I know that especially the Banish do have some weird hitboxes on them. So it ain't a good idea right now. There is also going to be a cursed chest around here too soon enough. So that'll be something to make sure I'm paying attention to. Get over here. Not dealing with this right now. Unfortunately, I lost my kill count, but at least I didn't get malaise though. Though I suppose on tactics that doesn't really matter as much now, does it? <laughs> Oh, you posted it. <laughs> ah, Got to get out of there before the, the axe hits me. Okay. There. There. And let's continue. Yep. I knew it. It's always very early in the area. And I don't know if I want to take this right now, but... Maybe I'll scout out, hopefully get rid of, hopefully, like, make sure that I, um, I get to, this is a, this isn't a terrible area to try and clear out this curse. I'm just going to go get it right now and see what's going to go on. On tax, I usually just ignore malaise and eat any food that I find. You know, it's not a bad idea. The only problem is that I will, hmm, 
it's not a bad option. I do really like Wave of Denial, though. But Lacerating Aura also works very well, and I get, like, bleed and poison synergy on it. I think I gotta go with it. Lacerating Aura does hit around me in a very large area, and when I'm flying with the crow's wings, that's a good idea. Well, let's get this. Where was that? Where'd that biter go? <laughs> All I gotta do is just not completely wang this one. Oh no, I'm completely wanging this one. Uh, no, I, I did it. <laughs> I didn't die. <laughs> Ah, that's a good scroll, but this is not the time to, like, worry about scrolls. This is the time to throw on Lacerating Ore and hope it kills everything. Okay. It's dead Cells, baby. We just talked about using Gastronomy for tactics builds. I think that is, like, legitimately a really good idea. Especially because if you're not going to be worried too much about taking, um... About taking uh, any sort of... of malaise in your run just because of the, the sheer amount of damage you're going to get on average it's like why not you'll, you'll pretty much fully heal up anytime you get any sort of food stuff and that's and that's just how it goes <laughs> that's that's the sort of thing you need you can't really okay look at that damage over time uh, it's a sweet build if you can get it working but it's also just the stress I don't think is worth it the stress is causing me to, um... I don't even know why I went for a parry there. I just fully expected to get blasted by a, a blowgunner immediately. Um, anyway. Gastro is disgusting in survival, uh, because the damage boost is now percentage-based. I know, and that's, like, really good. But even then, I usually like taking, uh, more of, like, a sure thing type of, of build. Because of, like, alienation acceptance being... <laughs> Well, I mean, it is my standard type of build for good reason, after all. It's just very, very good at healing you. And healing you with a certain consistency that's hard to get just about anywhere else. As much as I don't want to keep using the same thing over and over, there is that, uh, there's that idea of, you know, why mess with success when you got something that works. <laughs> all right, now, before I run, I do want to go back and get the, the potion charge. Yes, yes, I see people reminding me in chat right now. I did remember this time, and trust me, if I didn't look in chat, if I didn't remember, I would have probably seen people telling me. But let's go, and this time we're actually going to be fighting the boss, so good stuff. Not going to be taking the food. That would get me uh, super cursed. She's super cursy. Ow. And that's not, not a good idea at this point in game. Why does every run you do turn damage over time? It's a good build. And this is not like your classic damage over time. I'm not doing like a Hokuto's bow right now. But especially going into a fight that is going to be hugely based around uh, uh, an enemy being in the water. You can't tell me that this is a bad idea. This should take uh, the, the, the tick down real easy. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, this is advanced damage over time. Yeah, oh, okay. I was actually not in any danger there, but I was still worried anyway. No, okay. No, yeah, I should, what am I even doing? Like, I should be spamming my stuff. Well, no perfect fight, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Ah! Alright, let's do this. Whoa, whoops. I pressed it too fast. Um, I'm gonna take a potion charge. Once again, I'm really weighing in this one. <laughs> Don't I gotta fight the tick more? I'm gonna be honest right now. I'm still not used to a lot of the the patterns that you encounter here and everything, and that's not doing too good for me. Yeah. Yep. Come on. 
Yeah, we're using the potion charges, but hey, I still got alienation acceptance for good reason after all. He can just like dodge in there, dodge out. That's what I should have been doing the entire time. Like I said, I just gotta get some more practice with this boss, clearly, because I'm still I'm still doing pretty bad here. Ah uh, well. Let's try to make that a priority for future runs, I suppose. Facts do be hitting different. I mean, it, to be fair, it was doing some great damage and everything. It's just I did bad. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, why this doesn't ta look like taxes damage? I'm not really building towards a lot of synergies. I'm just building towards a lot of stacks of shock, which does make something of a difference. Also, again, I do have to say poor, poor play. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, I think I'm going to hit up the Stilt Village just because I am not feeling too confident in taking on taking on the graveyard right now. And if I got to redo this uh, episode, I don't want to have to go through that same route again. You know what? You know what's a very clear bet that I'm going to be able to fight the concierge easily. Anything else though, not nearly as much. Yep. Yep. And get that parry. Get that extra shock. We looking good. No curse chest? I mean, there might not be a curse chest here, but there's food. So that's all I need. That's the only thing you need to have a good run after all. Get down here. What? Get down here. What are, you, what are you doing? Get down here. I'm frustrated in your inability to get down here. Anyway. <sighs> hey, Doc, what's the conclusion on Firestar's suggestion for the giant? Uh, what suggestion was that? I missed it. Went full electric. We're going to rock on to the electric avenue with this run. It's true. Sure, it might not be as, as bird-based as the previous one, but I want to say that it is going to be as effective in a different way. You can use head and crow's wings at the same time. Oh, well, you know, actually using the homunculus rune has always been something that I've been terrible at, so... Especially, like, hitting a new type of build, as this one more or less is. I'm going to take this. Yeah. That'll give me a lot of extra health. Um, yeah, hitting a new, like, sort of style of item. I got to be... I'm not dealing with it as well as I should. Even with a combination of items, it should be a no-brainer how exactly you use it. That said, I'm still... I'm still, um... It's necessarily better. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Poisons, freezes enemies. Yeah, I'll keep what I got. Uh, anyway. The run is still going fine. What does the shock debuff do? It's damage over time and also damages enemies around you. So, like, uh, places with, like, real packed-in enemies, for example, I would be able to uh, take out a lot of them at once, which was kind of the hope when I got into the, the morass. And I think it worked out pretty well. But, you know, with the way that I am also, like, focusing on fighting a ton of enemies at one time, it's kind of hard to see the exact usages. The ways that... Ah, hmm, ah, let's just take it. The ways that, um, some, I, is some, like, of the rework damage over time don't really become super clear <laughs> because of the way I play the game. Yeah, you just know, you know how it goes. There are some items that are better than others. I knew you were coming up here. And fool me even for a second. Let's not deal with the elite, but do deal with this guy. Good. And... Wings might be a good idea, but I don't really want to mess around too much with it. With the weird... Uh, movement that I'll sometimes get here. Like I said, I don't quite have a good handle on that just yet. So you could go giant every run, but skip the castle if you if you get a perfect fight instead of banning the fight overall. I mean, I, I'm just talking about banning it. I, I haven't like banned it outright yet. <laughs> Timekeeper would probably be a better option here anyway, just in general, because uh, there's a lot more... There's a lot more... Uh, there's a lot more synergy when it comes to fighting her as opposed to the giant right now anyway. I think giant is good with this build. I mean, it's good in the sense that I do have a... a uh... I mean, really, it's just mostly good in the sense that I have a, uh, a shield. And this is a good shield for the giant fight, you know, doing AoE damage and everything like that. That's exactly what you need to have a good giant fight, after all. Some sort of area of effect and the shield will, will do you pretty good. <laughs> 
That said, it's just like, you know, you can fly over a lot of attacks with the, with the crow wings, and you know. It just makes for a better run in that way, especially if I'm also using a shield at the same time. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, let's let's get Crow's Wings out here and get that good dash going. I mean, as always, I think that like one of the big hallmarks of this latest update is having a very difficult start, followed by a very a much better like second half. <laughs> because as of right now, I well, covered in oil. Nah. Yeah, castle's not great, and that's why I like skipping it. End of sentence. <laughs> There's not really too much else to say there. So, yeah, <laughs> it's it's not a good, it's not a fun area to go through, especially with the ways that I've been dying so so much right now. It's like a uh, lining lining that sort of like failure up for myself. Just is is setting myself up for failure. I don't know why I said it like that. You know what I mean. Castle's trying his best. That's the problem. Castle's too good at his job. And that's why I don't like it. I'm jealous. If only I could be as good as Castle. <laughs> okay. You know, like the huge, huge AoE with this build, which helps a lot. I mean, I tr very trivially got 60 kills there. It's just, you know, it's still a, um, still rough anyway, because I know the second I get hit, I'm going to be going down a lot on health. I think on the last stream you said you would implement my stipulation after you finish the run you were currently doing. Ah, hoisted by my own words, which is, well, it's usually how that goes now, isn't it? Ah, I don't know if I want to take that right now. It just seems like it's going to be bad. Start rolling through here back and forth. Works pretty good. Still not a situation that I'd like to put myself in if I can possibly avoid it. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ah, uh, there's the... I really do want to take that cherry there, but I also know that, again, it will end up with me dying. Maybe what I should do is I should just... Ah, I gotcha. Um, maybe what I should do is I should just end up going for... I mean, if I can get the, like, potion. That's the, that's the ideal circumstance. But 12,000 right now, probably not going to happen. Ah, well. I, I'll just go in here. Not even worry about... Whoops. Uh, not even worry too much about, um, like, choosing if I'm going to be fighting Giant or anything like that. We're just going to go right now. Also, Doc play Rampage Knights. I ah, suggested when you got the 20,000 channel points. That'll work. That's always... That's that's why I got those things in the first place, after all. And what do you got? Eh, well, eh, I don't know. I do like Wave of Denial, and I do... I mean, I really like Wave of Denial. I'll take it right now. And... Yeah, just keep it at that. Still a little bit down on potion charges, but there will be one more chance to get something in the final area, so... Well, just kind of the see how this goes, I suppose. I always like that whenever you walk in here, your head disappears for a second. Wait, does Dead Cells have mods? It does. I I should be playing more mods, but I just haven't really done it. <laughs> that is something that like I should do, though. Oh man, Clock Tower! I did Clock Tower last time too. If anything, we're doing Clock Tower too much now. <laughs> Should be hitting up some other areas. This is going to be a little bit difficult to use with the wings, though, because it's not a very uh, horizontally ori oriented uh, version of a level. Almost got hit there. That said, it should be fine. Yep, and... Yeah, I'll just kind of leave it at that to make sure that I'm not going to be getting hit by any of these cannibals right now. And I am happy with how that turned out. Oh, there's a Hulk Toes bow. I don't know if I really want that right now, though. 
Sure, it might be a little bit of extra damage, but I think the build I'm working with is doing me just fine. This is also a good time to start using this. Can't hit me when I'm above you. I'm riding on your back. And let's get some extra damage here, and hopefully that's not going to come back to bite me. I suppose we'll see. <laughs> good. You want a shield for Timekeeper. Yeah, that was kind of what I was thinking, because Timekeeper really does do a, a a lot of projectile attacks that you can parry pretty easily. And that's that's the sort of thing that... Wolf Trap, though, would also be pretty good with the amount of damage over time that I'm throwing out here. I think I'm going to take that for right now. I've already used Wave of Denial for quite a bit. I think that kind of buffing up the... the the shock damage is going to do me do me better right now instead. All right, climbing over it. Yeah, I've heard I've heard about that mod for a while, but it's also like one of the things I really like about getting over it with Bennett Foddy is the is the Bennett Foddy musing about his ideas on game design. I like that idea, and I and I would like to and I would kind of like be remiss to not have it in there. But then again, I don't know if that is in there. Is that in that mod? We got people talking about um, now their ideas on game design and how you should be developing a game even if it's one literally made out of trash. Come on, that's fun. You can become the Bennett guy. I mean, I guess. I, I feel like I don't really have that much insight on video games, though. It's usually about, like, speculation and stuff like that. A lot of food here. Maybe should have actually taken gastronomy instead now. Of course, how could I have seen this coming? Oh, well. It's not a big deal for right now. 23 points. So looking pretty good on stats, at least. Did an elite mod a while ago? I've done a few elite mods. They're fun. They're also difficult. Man, I, I almost don't even need, like, Wings of the Crow right now. I'm doing so good just purely with the... The electric whip, which is good and bad. So, yeah, take that how you will. That said, there it is still pre. Wow, <laughs> that's a good that's a good necklace for survival, but um, not what I'm taking right now. Like a while ago, yeah, it's 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 been a time. I mean, that, back when it was you know all elite items all the time. Interesting. Let me keep what I got. Uh, yeah. But it was all elites all the time. I mean, taking lacerating aura and then getting that to work with uh, getting that to work because of the huge rally you got was kind of the order of the day. These days, it would have to be a different strategy, and I don't really know how I'd approach it. Okay, get that damage over time. Then. Can't even hit me. It's working out pretty good so far. Downward smash attacks. Da, da, da. Eh, not going to worry too much about it. All elite. I mean, it would be one to do, certainly. But I don't know. Also, at the same time. But look, here's the thing. By the time that I finish up like with the season four, the definitive season of showcase runs, I'm not really going to have, like, a specific thing to be doing. So I think that's probably going to be the time when I turn my eye to a lot more... A lot more, uh... Viewer-suggested runs. Um, we're talking... Not just viewer-suggested runs, but also, like, the, um... Mods and everything like that. And that's when I'm going to be really getting into that. The final season. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if it'll be, like, literally the final season... Because if they ever add a new item into the game, I gotta do a showcase run on that. That's kind of been my my uh, motto since the beginning of, of Dead Cells. Well, since like season one of the of the showcase runs. However, it's like I do kind of want this to be like the definitive series for the showcases that I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, you know, you really can't. Yeah. If I got the the cr the crows the cring wings on. It's like the cringe wings on. I they can't hit me, so it's kind of the way to do it, right? <laughs> there. Oh, then dead cells too. Yeah, I mean we are still in dead cells one territory. <laughs> when the sequel comes out, then we'll have an entirely different um, thing again. 
Yeah, unless they decide to rework items. Uh, I've already done the repeater crossbow, but most of the other stuff, I'd like to say, is still relevant in how you would, you know, approach playing the game. Yeah, dead cells too. Alive cells. <laughs> Which I guess would just be called cells. Well, although, you know, the, the original uh, terminology for cells was coined when, um, when the monk that was studying it, uh, was it a monk? Or was it? No, no, no. It was based on monk cells. Sort of like the cells that you would see at the abbey that they were studying it in, in a piece of cork, which is a dead, dead cells. So, I don't know. It's still relevant. <laughs> Professor Doc, even though my explanation for that was the most mangled, horrible way that you could possibly do it. And yes, I could go for the 60 kills. Nope. You know, always delete the old vids and start seasons again. Why, it's always been the first season of Dead Cells, and we've always been at war with Eurasia. <laughs> I can't do that. That would be immoral. All right. What am I going to do here? Ripper? Networking, if I had something to work with that. I think Crow's Foot is still kind of like a good idea. And then let's just go with, like, some real, real simple, basic uh, survival type of things going on. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah, the mitochondria go crazy and start turning animals into mutants. And, oh, no, I'm just describing Parasite Eve. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Yep, this is going pretty good. This is what I was hoping for. No, do the parry. Um, sure. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad to see that strategy still works out as usual. Yeah, this is all right. <laughs> Dead Cells Hot Anime Babes Edition. Oh, man. Now that's the edition for me. <laughs> Come on, this should be an easy end. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't say the crow's wings still do not count. That's pretty good, too. Uh, can't say the crow's wings do not counter um, Timekeeper still. I mean, even after all this time, Keeper, I'm still able to just completely bypass most of the attacks she's throwing out just by floating in the air. Good stuff. <laughs> all right. Ah. It's going, slowly but surely. We're getting there. Not the best run I've ever done, but like I said, as you get near the end, it starts to get a lot better. Yeah, we're in the castle. I don't want to be in the castle, but we're in the castle. I forgot all about Parasite Eve. How can you forget about Parasite Eve? It was such a... It's a pretty unique game. Even though I think it does obviously come with a number of issues. And then, you know, speaking of uh, Anime Babes Edition, the third birthday was very much Anime Babes Edition of that game. <laughs> With your um, situational uh, clothing destruction based on damage you were taking. Man. I don't think everything I've ever heard about that game was that it wasn't super good, <laughs> unfortunately. Because I think that the original ones uh, were were interesting. I mean, they had their own unique uh, uh, battle system, you know, doing that whole like grid thing where like sort of pseudo RPG style and like certainly the, the modern day aesthetics of it were something pretty different than what you would expect out of uh, Square at the time. That was Square, right? I don't know. But uh, it's also like I don't know. It, it is still very much an early PlayStation. It actually wasn't even all that early. I don't know. I, I, you know, I also got Transistor on this machine. Maybe I should eventually just boot that up and do that as a series. But hey, as we found out during the course of this series, it's going to be Binding of Isaac. Bindle of Ibex next time. Come on, take him down. Ooh. Man. Okay, uh, well, thank you, Biters. You have performed admirably. Good. Good, and... Let's keep going here. 
At least Doc Thunderbird is uh, making his uh, tardy appearance in this episode. This is the sort of run that I should have done a while ago. Even if it is kind of gimmicky, it actually does work together pretty well. So I started talking about anime. You're going to play Code Vein DLCs. <laughs> I really, I said that I was going to, and I still haven't done that. I should do that eventually because I do like Code Vein. I found out about, like, the Dummy Doubt content where they were going to have, like, a whole, um, close... We're going to have, like, a whole uh, crossover with Domino's. <laughs> and it was going to be all about, like, all the characters talking about how much they love pizza and everything. I am so sad that never made it into the final game. I want to hear all the characters gushing about pizza like it was freaking Final Fantasy XV. But unfortunately, that's going to stay on the cutting room floor forever now, isn't it? This is bad. <laughs> nope, it's fine. I lied. It's totally okay. <laughs> Do Celeste Chapter 9. Ah, no. <laughs> nope. Samurai Pizza Cats. Oh, boy. What a weird series that was. It was just, that was one of those uh, series that just, like, huge, huge, hugely changed because of the dubbing. <laughs> oh, right, right. I, I keep forgetting that I can attack with this weapon here. Anyway. This one stream has been worth roughly 2,000 viewer points. Great, then you can make me play that Samurai Pizza Cats game sooner than ever. Let's get in the water. This is going to be clearly the best option for the sort of uh, run that I'm doing right now. All right. All right. And jump back down. Ah, oh, come on. Be stunned already. I'm not going to get the 60 kills, but I guess I'm not going to worry too much about that. Staying alive is a lot more important. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Still, as always, we're in the castle. I, the crow's wings! It betrayed me! <laughs> the crow's wings, it betrayed me again! Oh, man. I really don't want to use a potion charge right now, but it's kind of looking like I'm going to have to, isn't it? Take him down. Oh, you can tell by all the way. I use my wall. I, I really do not remember enough of the lyrics of that. Just the, the tune of it. Damn it. Damn you, crow. Your wings are so useful, but your feet are just betrayal after betrayal. I'm a crowing man. I got nothing. Oh, well, okay. Well, now I am going to have to go for a potion charge. Dag, yo. Oh, well. If I play it right, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Two potion charges should be enough to finish up the game. Live by the crow, die by the crow. Indeed. Certainly no better example of that than this. Oh, right, right, right. You can hit through walls. Never forget that. Get that extra little damage there. Get that extra little money from this. And we go up here. Go up here and we just get get away from that guy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on. Live by the crow, die by the sword. Of the guardian. Well, let's see if I can can't get a... I hit survival again. Why did I hit survival? It's because I've been doing some, too many survival runs lately. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Shouldn't be a problem. Got a bird up. That's right. <laughs> God damn it. Come on. I just used a potion charge. Please don't make me use another one. This is why I don't like going to the castle. Time for a corrupted flask. I don't think we're hitting that point yet. <laughs> Maybe not entirely far away from it, but... Well, well... Mm. I can't afford it. I can't afford a potion charge. I mean, I can way more than afford a potion charge in the next area. It's just, um, got to get to that area first. As of right now, it's a little bit questionable almost. Is this going to be the run? This is definitely going to be the run. This is going to be to earn, if you will. I, to be honest, I do not foresee anything that will prevent me from at least beating the Hand of the King. That would be a strange occurrence at this point. 
But I got so much cash, I haven't really been spending it on too much. I've actually been pretty spendthrift throughout this entire run so far. I'm not even going to worry too much about that fragment. Because, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get another three by the end game. And if I do, you can call me out on it. But frankly, I just want to get out of here right now. Good. Huh. Okay, here's a question. Chat, you got to you gotta tell me right now. Should I go double bird? Should I go double bird? It seems like a pretty good idea. So we're going to go full on bird and lightning. It is, it, it is Doc Thunderbird episode. So <laughs> I guess it's... All right. I finally reached my ultimate form. The fire has ignited the air so much that it is now lightning. I never thought I would reach this point, but here we are. Ooh, Max Victims bleed too. Not bad. Let's go. Bird up, yeah. <laughs> Just make sure I bird up. Extra bloody bird this time too. For the Connaissance. Um, yeah. Take it. Get the shield seems like a good idea. Yeah, this is when man turns into a bird like John Anderson in that one music video. <laughs> a reference everybody can enjoy. <laughs> yeah, we look, I, I trust that my viewers know a lot about yes, right? <laughs> well, one could also say yes. Let's go. Oh, okay, okay. This should be pretty effective. I mean, I'm liking it right now. Like, look at him. You know when you said that uh, his AI just completely breaks? You were not kidding about that, were you? He really does just completely break. Of course, it does kind of yeah, lose effectiveness as uh, I run out of the thing. But it's like, damn, dude. that's This is like some... This is like some um, uh, old school. I'm not gonna hit, get hit by this, right? Okay, good. <laughs> this is like some old school uh, heavy, heavy crossbow style of AI breakage. Okay. I'm mad that I didn't get the perfect fight there. If I got the perfect fight there, that would have been great. <laughs> but it's like, wow, dude, that was that was an, honestly an amazing run. I am very happy with how that went. What happened to those elites? Uh, they got deleted from the universe, I guess. <laughs> they saw me and they ran away. Hmm. This is still YouTube, Doc. <laughs> yes, we are still on YouTube. This is still the YouTube episode. It's actually been going, like... It, there's there's like a curve here. The power curve has been pretty intense in this episode, where it's just been getting better and better as the run's going on. And I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah. If you're having trouble with, uh, with Hand of the King, go for that. I'm also using like a super early version of the Electric Whip, too. I gotta, I gotta switch this out for something better. I mean, sure, it's still been serving me pretty well, but still, like, I can do better than this. I mean, it's just I need something that will also hit while I'm in the middle of the air, which is a little bit harder to find, I think. Okay. Well, despite the fact that this is a very air-oriented area, I do feel like the Wings of the Crow might end up with me um, potentially... <sighs> hurting myself here if I fall into a pit. So that's going to be something to pay attention to. Yeah? Good. All right. Well, this is going to be a little bit rough, especially with the yeah, amount of uh, potion charges that I've lost, but I don't know, man. I feel pretty confident in getting a good win out here. We'll see. 
I'm to kill Needleman? Needleman? <laughs> that scream nerf me, Daddy. Well, that scream more like fix some motion twin fix your game. But I, again, look, if you guys are cool and don't tell motion twin about this, maybe they'll let us keep it in. Just, just be cool. Don't tell them that it's really good. <laughs> look, I can trust y'all. Y'all are pretty cool, right? War Spear Teleport. Okay, they should actually fix that. That is like a legitimate um, <laughs> teleport. Like, that's a legitimate soft lock and does not really give you too much advantages in the game. So, ah, okay. Tell them about that one and then maybe just like slip it in kind of under the radar. Oh yeah, also, you know, crow's wings, blah, blah, blah. Just so that the, just so that you have plausible deniability when they're like, hey, why didn't anybody tell us how Crow's Wings breaks one of our bosses? You know we can't have that happen. Oh yeah, War Javelin. They have a it was like I said in that one episode, they have very shockingly similar names despite having very little to do with each other, and not even being particularly good when combined with each other. So yeah, it's uh, strange in that way. You could conceivably take them both in a survival run, but I don't think there's much benefit to do, doing so. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Why tell them about the javelin? It's funny. Because that is like an actual soft lock. I mean, the thing is, I said that I'd do it because it'd be funny, but if somebody actually lost a run to that, I can understand them being upset <laughs> like that's that's the you know game breaking bugs in in a funny way but still game breaking bugs <laughs> I don't think it can hit me oh it totally could hit me over there okay 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 I'm gonna take care of it just like the double items yeah mm, yeah not that that was an exploit in a traditional sense you know kind of <laughs> All right. Let's go. He got it and I got and I wrote the correct thing. Well, fair enough. Oh. Chat, I don't think this is a good idea, but I also do have bleeding. It's pretty good. This might be better though. Yeah, I do like this. I like Toxic Cloud, Poisoned. I'll I will take this. For the love of God, please don't. Okay, fine, I won't. But come on, it's like two times damage. Doc the Potion Shop. I, I, I got the potion. I don't think, that, I don't think like grabbing a piece of food is gonna matter when I got dead inside though. It's just like, or even grabbing anything else. I, I think I'm good for right now. Just get the W and go? I mean, yeah, but it'd also be pretty fun to have a two times damage crow, too. No, you don't. There we are. War Javelin is what Yeeter wants to be. Oh, boy. Don't give them any ideas for improving that guy. Doc, no fun bird. Hey, I wanted to do it. Look, you're going to have to blame everybody else in chat here, not me. And die in the first 10 seconds of the final fight? Yeah, but like, wouldn't it be pretty funny though? I mean, I'm just saying, it'd be pretty funny. Find a cursed sword, this is a good chance. Oh, it's a pretty good chance for a cursed sword. Probably be able to dodge a lot of attacks with the, the crow's wings and everything. You can make a pretty good case for that right now. Ah, oh, Crusher. Not going to take it, but eh, it's something to consider. It would be something to consider if I didn't have a pretty good run going on right now. All right, let's drop down here and slowly, slowly see if I can't find anything. Nope. I, I don't know where the end is. <laughs> Like, it's got to be over next to the, the lore room, hat, isn't it? Wouldn't it be funny? Yeah, it would be pretty funny meme. I would be... I'd be on all of the TikToks with my amazing videos of memes that would be funny. 
but also unironically, it would be pretty fun. <laughs> Come on. Well, y'all already said y'all already said no, so we're not going to. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You got the wings to traverse the area. Yeah, but wouldn't it also result in me like it's just kind of plummeting into the abyss if I don't really pay attention to that right? Anything else around here first? No, not really. Okay, come on. Almost got this here. I can get a little extra damage, but, but it would be, you know, it's not only a little, it's 100% extra damage. That would be 200% damage. That's a lot of percentages. And I don't think anybody can deny that. Good. There's a 60 kills, too, for what little it matters. And then birds, of course, being completely nullified by the brethren. Unfortunately, I did get hit there. Eh, well, that's not good. We use better Twitch TV. I do not even have that installed, so I wouldn't be able to see those emotes, but I don't know. You'd be fine with letting you do it. I wouldn't stop you. <laughs> I like myself a vanilla experience when it comes to web pages, video games, everything like that. 60 kills definitely do not matter in this area. <laughs> There's no door. You just get the golden skull and uh, the little thing that appears above your head that says 60 kills. There's no point. Just hit 6.9k points. Nice. Yeah, let's just kind of get up in the air here to make sure that I'm not going to die. And we're good. Uh, well, that kind of worked. Come on, get over here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Keep. Just, just kind of like get him from the edge here to make sure that I'm not going to die. Because I feel like this last little area is always the, the point when I kind of uh, screw up the whole thing. So let's see if I can't avoid having that happen this time. Certainly Wings of the Crow, as soon as I jump up onto one of the upper levels, is actually like surprisingly useful. But it's also one of those things that it's got a long enough cooldown that I don't really re want to rely on it either. Okay. Okay, and one little bit of extra health. All right. 25,000 health. Looking pretty saucy, if I do say so myself. Is it enough to beat the final boss? I'd like to think so, but I also can't really say for certain. Like, guys. Fine, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> this just works out well for me. A lot of AI breaking this time, isn't there? Yeah, let's go. You didn't want to see me do the 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 one hundred percent crow or owl, whatever. So not gonna worry too much about it. As it is, this should be fine. You finally came to Twitch. I've been doing Twitch for a little while now, but it's still been very sporadic streams, as always. They were too enthralled by seeing another of their kind show up. With the bird. You see. Couldn't understand what was happening. <laughs> when you say Doc Thunder, that just makes me think of the off-brand, like, uh... Walmart Dr. Pepper basically take him down nope no he can't hit me up here cool that's good come on just okay going well so far 
Stream when the coffee's hot. I mean, I do have coffee. Actually, do I have any more coffee? No, I'm already out. That's right. That's right, you accused me of belching on stream. Something I would never do when I just was slamming down the coffee and I think groaning. <laughs> Whoops. Can't be a little too overconfident after all. There we are. It's not going to be a no-hit run regardless, because I already started out with the pros wins. That prevents me from getting, you know, achievements and everything like that. So it doesn't matter either way. Ow. I can't believe I got hit by that. The ball and chain. Okay. Yeah, it does not break, but the dodging is pretty strong. It is pretty strong. That's true. Can't deny that. All right, final. And, like, yeah, again, it's like, not, this is not a breaking AI. That's pretty good, though. Oof, going a little bit too far with that. <laughs> kind of screwing me up. Ow. Okay, get that parry for the extra damage. No, not into the freaking... Okay. <sighs> All right. There we go. Woof. A little bit close there, but certainly fine. You know, whatever. Well, exceptionally close there in the sense that I got hit. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Nice, solid win there. Again, still has the kind of issues. It still has, like, some weird issues moving around. I think just a, a very overall solid weapon, though. Definitely would recommend using. Especially on the Hand of the King. Hey, if you have any trouble, trouble with the Hand of the King, you get that thing from the Golem, like I said. So... Yeah. Oh. <sighs> All right. Well, it was also a very early version of the lightning whip, to be fair. 